Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is the preview for Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. I mean, this is another game that we must win. As you can see on my right, that is the lineup that I'm going with for this game. But before we actually get into the lineups, uh, let's take a look at the team news and see who is available for this game and who is not. I'll start off with David, uh, uh, Diego Dallo. I think Diego Dalot missed the weekend, uh, the derby win we had against Man City uh, due to injury. Jaden Sancho was also unavailable. Uh, Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford, those two are also having some problems in their fitnesses. I don't know if Eric Ten Hag is going to start Marcus Rashford in this game, given the fact that we're playing Arsenal within a couple of days. It is, I mean, it is going to be a massive call from, from the manager to start uh, if, if he starts uh, Rashford against Crystal Palace. Fred and Casemiro is another one that we need to talk about. Of course, these two are, are only one booking away from a suspension. and That would actually just rule them out against Arsenal Clash. So what would you do if you were the manager? Would you, would you start Fred and Casemiro in this game and risk uh, missing these players against Arsenal or would you just go ahead and put them on the bench and not use them against Crystal Palace in order for them to be available for Arsenal I mean it for both I think for both points you can make an argument about that uh, my preference would be to just go ahead and start uh, Fred uh, Casemiro especially uh, because we're gonna need it away from home Crystal Palace is a difficult place to go and I think I think we should we should we should start Casemiro uh, in that game. So this is basically the lineup that has uh, started against Manchester City: uh, David De Gea, Juan Bissaka, Varane, Shaw, Malasia, Casemiro, and Fred were the two mid uh, midfields at the right. Bruno Fernandez in the middle uh, as a number ten. Eriksen. Uh, Rashford on the left and Martial up top. So this is the team that actually started the match. Uh, but I'll I'll make a few changes in this lineup. I will make a few changes in this lineup. I think this is the predicted lineup. I think he's gonna go with this lineup on my right, as you can see: David De Gea, Juan Bissaka, Varane, Martinez, Shaw, uh, Casemiro, Eriksen. As a number 10, Bruno Fernandes, Anthony on the right, Garnacho might start on the left, and up top, Marcus Rashford. This is this is my prediction. He might decide to, to rotate a few players. He might not. <clears throat> but Crystal Palace, I mean, before I go deep dive into the lineup, let's just uh, quickly talk about Crystal Palace's uh, team news. Manager Patrick uh, Vieira felt his side did not get uh, what they what they needed against Chelsea. They did lose against Chelsea on Sunday. That result means they have only one win in five outings since the World Cup. I mean, they're not. Crystal Palace are not coming into this game in a good form. They're struggling. <laughs> and, and not to mention their Anderson, their, their main guy, their defender was actually was drawn at Stamford Bridge reportedly for a, a cough injury, maybe a doubt for the game against United so they're gonna be missing players as well uh, let me just quickly show you guys uh, where they stand in the table so Crystal Palace are sitting 12 with eight I mean eight losses you are looking at this they have eight losses uh, total points is 22 uh, we're sitting at fourth place of course United 38 points Obviously, if we, if we win this game, we are going to go to the second place, which is what we wanted to do. Uh, but Crystal Palace, to be honest with you, I'm not afraid of this game. I think we could we could definitely win this game. Given, let me just quickly show you their last five games. So this is what it looks like. So Crystal Palace coming into this game. Look at all these reds. I mean, they've lost a lot of games. They've lost a lot of games. They lost against Fulham. Lost. Uh, okay, they won against Bournemouth. They lost against Tottenham. Lost against Southampton. Lost against Chelsea uh, two days ago or yesterday. Um, and look at our form. I mean, we're going into this game 
pretty hot. Like we've won all of our games since the World Cup. I don't think we've lost any game. And the past five games, we won against Wolves, Bournemouth, uh, Everton, Charlton, and that Derby win two days ago. I'm still buzzing about that Derby win, by the way. Um, but yeah, so looking at the form, I think we are in good shape. We should be comfortable uh, to beat Crystal Palace, in my opinion. I think our team is good enough. We have the good momentum. We're good enough to beat Crystal Palace. We're going to make a few changes in this one. I think Luke Shaw is probably going to be pushed to the left. And I'll see, uh, where is it? Martinez. So I expect Martinez to start alongside Varane in this game. This should be the back four. Like I said, Dalot is not fit enough. So I think this should be our back four. And I think Eric Ten Hag is going to use this back four. In the middle, I think there's going to be changes. Uh, we don't need Fred. We don't want to risk Fred and Casemiro at the same time. Both both, both these players are actually uh, one booking away from getting an, uh, a, a suspension. So you would want to put Casemiro. You would want to leave Casemiro there because... Like I said, uh, Crystal Palace away from home is a very dangerous place to go. Even though uh, Crystal Palace have been losing games consistently, I still think it's not a, it's not going to be an easy game. Uh, Casemiro, I think he's going to be needed to protect this back four. It's a risk. It's a risk. It's a risk you have to take. Would you take uh, Casemiro out of this team and risk not getting three points against Crystal Palace? Or would you want to make sure you get the three points against Crystal Palace and see what happens uh, uh, versus Arsenal? I would, if it was me, like my preference would be to, to, to just use Casemiro in this game and get that W, get that three points, secure that three points, and make sure you get that three points in that game and and see what happens against Arsenal because we might not. We might not even win against Arsenal by resting Casemiro in this match. And we could draw points against Crystal Palace, which means we ended up with like, if we draw against Crystal Palace uh, by resting Casemiro and starting him against Arsenal and we drew that game as well, we got two points out of six, which is not a good thing. I think we need to make sure that we win. We secure the win against Crystal Palace. See what happens. Uh, versus our so some fans of course are saying we are in the title race i hope i mean i hope we are but i think we need to wait a couple of games i think we have crystal palace arsenal and then crystal palace again and then we have the two games like against uh, nottingham forest i think by then we would know if we are in the title race or not that's my thinking like i think we should wait a couple of more weeks to see how this team does against crystal palace and uh, Arsenal. This is what this is the lineup that we have been using in the past weeks, month, even before the World Cup. So I think this should be the lineup, a more attacking lineup. Uh, Eriksen could, could just play here as a creative midfielder, and Casemiro could just protect the back four, and he could also be used uh, to create chances uh, for the attack. Bruno, we've seen Bruno play uh, as a right wing position. I think, I think it didn't fit him. I think the moment we changed Bruno as a number 10, the team started to attack more. The team started to create more chances. And he was able to, uh, to, to score in that game as well. I, I don't think he was effective enough playing as a uh, right wing position. So I am going to bring Bruno Fernandez uh, as a number 10 back here and put Anthony in. Anthony comes back in. So this sh this should be the lineup I'm going with. Anthony and Bruno and Rashford. Oh, so this needs to change as well. So Martial, I don't think he should start this game. I don't even think he's going to be available for this game. He was struggling um, in that game against Man City. He was taken off at halftime. Uh, I don't expect him to start. Uh, even if he's fit, I would not pick Martial to start this game. I just, I just don't think it's, I don't know, for some reason, Martial is not the same Martial to me. Ever since after the World Cup, Martial has been struggling uh, for four. He did score one goal or two goals, but he, he's not the same player. 
It's not the same player we saw at the beginning uh, of the season. It's not the same player. Uh, so for that reason, I'm I'm going to put Martial on the bench, and I would go with Marcus Rashford up top. Of course, also there might be a concern here for Rashford, but hey, we need a big time. We need him. I think Rashford is the only one performing at this moment in time uh, up front for uh, United. So I don't think we can gamble on not starting uh, Marcus Rashford in this game. We're going to need him, and we don't want to break his momentum of scoring consecutively. He's been he's been he's been hot. I mean, he has been hot. He's been scoring in every single game. Everything he touches just turns into gold. So I think we need to continue to use it in this game as well. He is desperately, desperately needed. So on the left, who would you go with? Would you go with Ilanga? Would you go with Garnacho? That's pretty much an obvious uh, answer there. I think, uh, yep, he's right there. So, so Garnacho comes back in for me. I think Garnacho showing us what he what he can do in the derby as well. Uh, when the game was tied up, Garnacho came in. He he delivered that pass uh, for Marcus Rashford for the winner. That that is just what Garnacho does. He's gonna go with. David De Gea and goal, Juan Bissaka on the right, Lorena Martinez, two World Cup winners as uh, in the middle of the park, and uh, Luke Shaw on the left, Casemiro and Eriksen holding uh, Bruno Anthony Garnacho and up top, Marcus Rashford. This is what I think is going to happen, and this is the lineup I think we should use for this game. The, uh, before I give you my prediction, I want to show you guys the head-to-head -head against Crystal Palace. It's not really pretty. Uh, it's not pretty at all. Uh, we've the past four games, we've won two games, we've lost one game, and we've drawn uh, uh, one game. So the the last time we went to Crystal Palace, we've lost one nil, and before that, we've drawn nil nil. So technically, I know it's not it. It's not the same United team. It's also not the same Crystal Palace team. But I think. They're not an easy team to beat. They, they, it feels like, you know, those kind of teams where you go away from home, they just make it difficult. The likes of Everton, the likes of Leicester City. These clubs, these teams, it's a tricky place to go. Like, even though they're struggling, they can still make you drop points. So we we cannot take them lightly at all. Eric Ten Hag has to make sure to tell this team to take this game very, very seriously. And we have to give everything uh, to win this game. But like I said, this is the lineup I'm going with. But do let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I am going to give you my prediction. Um, I think I think we are going to win this game. So I think United are going to win this game 2-0. I believe that we are going to get a clean sheet as well. Palace have been a difficult team for United, uh, like I mentioned in recent history but the potential loss of Anderson is a blow to their team uh, they have not been able to keep a clean sheet as well so definitely if United can score first in this match we can feel confident of winning this game uh, even with you know Zaha going out with his point to prove against us he can do whatever he wants but I firmly expect uh, Ten Hag's side to extend our winning streak into double figures with a clean sheet, boys. So that's what I think is going to happen. But let me know in the comment sections what you guys think about this lineup and also what the score prediction is going to be for this game. Do leave your comments down below. And, and that is it, guys. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Don't forget to smash a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, I'm definitely doing the uh, watch along for this game as well. So you could you could join join us uh, for the watch along uh, Crystal Palace versus uh, United on Wednesday night. That is it, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.